Uh, okay. There's a website called Gumtree. Gumtree. Dot com. And I guess it's kind of like a Craigslist for apartments or homes. You could find living arrangements here. Um, you know, someone seeking someone, but not necessarily for sex. Also for like, oh, uh, like a place I, have to a, stay. I have a room available. Yes. <laughs> um, room type double. It's not bad, right? Double. Okay. So this is the actual advertisement available couples. No. Okay. It's not. So looking for one person, one person date available. Uh, well, they do their dates differently in England. This says, 11, 6, 13, so maybe it means June 11th as opposed to November 6th. Property type, it's a house. Okay. Looks like it's near Queens Park. Um, that helps anybody. Um, in Brighton. This is Brighton. 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 There you go. Brighton. Set the mood. <laughs> Bring us there. Scott. Brighton. This is like something out of a Hammer Horror film. All right. This is how Hammer Horror films begin. A 21st century Hammer Horror film. Is you're uh, with Nikki and Terry and uh, fucking you, Ted, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy and, and Teddy and Nikki, and you can't take it. Your name is we gotta give you a name, Wallace. My name's Wallace. I live with Teddy and Nikki in <laughs> Brighton. <laughs> All right, man. In a flat. You're setting the fucking stage. Like they're I'm not. Thinking. They're not particularly clean. <laughs> so there you are having a scone and a pint, fucking thinking about you got to get out of this place. Yeah. And you see room type to rent double. Oh, available, look at that. Available couples. Look at that. No, do the, your internal monologue. Available couples. I'm not a couple. Date available. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Property. <laughs> <laughs> Property type is a house. Oh, it's a house. It's nice. So you want- I've been living there since I left me mom. So it's sentimental. Sure. <laughs> Apparently when you talk to yourself, your inner dialogue is American. <laughs> um, okay. And the seller type is private. The guy who's renting you the room is private. It's not an agency. Okay. This is, uh, this is the letter that he included on his page at Gumtree. You can read it. Gumtree.com. Search lodger required PM Brighton. Okay. This might sound too good to be true. Hello. I am looking for a lodger in my house. I have had a long and interesting life and have now chosen Brighton as a location for my retirement. Among the many things I have done in my life is to spend three years alone on St. Lawrence Island. In Canada? These were perhaps the most intense and fascinating years of my life, and I was kept in companionship with a walrus whom I named... Gregory. <laughs> it's getting good, right? You're like, oh, I wonder where this is going. Oh, it's cool. Gregory's a nice name. My <laughs> uncle's name was Gregory. Never, never have I had such a fulfilling friendship with anyone, human or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> And upon leaving the island, I was heartbroken for months. I now find myself in a large house overlooking Queen's Park and am keen to get a lodger. This is a position I am prepared to offer for free, no rent payable, on the fulfillment of some conditions. I have, over the last few months, been constructing a realistic walrus costume. (laughs) (laughs) which should fit most people of average proportions and allow for full and easy movement in character to take on position as my lodger you must be prepared to wear the walrus suit for approximately two hours each day each day scott (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> every day you don't get a day off you are singing for your supper for two hours wearing this fucking suit who know? well he'll tell us what he wants here we go you must be prepared to wear the walrus suit for approximately two hours each day in practice this is not two hours every day i merely stated here so you're able to have a clear idea of the workload whilst in the walrus costume you must be a walrus there must be no speaking in a human voice, and any in communication 
must entail utterances in the voice of a walrus. I believe <clears throat> there are recordings available on the web. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of this thing. <coughs> He's putting you. He's like, you do that work. <laughs> yeah. Like, Come on. I'm making the costume. <laughs> I've been in, fucking so In the division of labor, the costume yeah. is very difficult. You, <laughs> you gotta do something. Go listen to something online. Um, I don't even know what a walrus sounds like. Th- uh, to me, the voice is the most natural thing I have ever heard. Other duties will involve catching and eating the fish and crabs that I will occasionally throw to you (laughs) whilst you are being the walrus. With the exception of this, you will be free to do whatever you choose and will have a spacious double room, complete run of the house with the exception of my bedroom and my workshop. (laughs) You don't want to go near that workshop. (laughs) Um, And use of all facilities within. I am a considerate person to share a house with, and other than playing the accordion, my tastes <laughs> <laughs> are easy to accommodate. <laughs> like that's the thing that he's like, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like you're I gonna want to blow your air back. You're gonna have to get over that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Two hours a day to dress like a walrus, dude. And yeah, catch like- <laughs> fish and crab in your mouth. And you can't <laughs> talk for those two hours. <laughs> Due to the nature of this position, I will need to audition all applicants before agreeing to take the chosen candidate on as a lodger. Of course, you want to make sure. Yeah. Whoever's wearing that suit is the most like, or whatever. Or, their or, noise is different. It's like, or, well, it's on the internet, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, please contact me if you have any questions. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Filled with nothing but, sir. Um, update. I would like to thank everyone who has responded to this advert. I was not expecting such an overwhelming response, and I'm sorry I could not respond to everyone. The auditions that I've held were successful, and I have now found myself a lodger. Wow. So somebody did. Wow. It worked. Thank you again for all your messages and expressions of interest, and I hope those who did not get the room are not too disappointed and find somewhere to live very soon. (laughs) Uh, wishing you all the best in any of your future endeavors. So it happened. He got someone. He's got someone. I mean, how long could you? How long? If it says it was available six eleven, it's now six twenty four. Um, unless this was eleven six, it becomes available November six. But he didn't mention anything about that. Uh, that was quick. He found his person pretty quickly. That meant someone out there was just like. What's the worst of it? Catching fish in my mouth. I love fish. Touch. I got the run of the house. I just I can't fish. go near the workshop. And, and crab. Based on what he said, probably best not to go near the workshop <laughs> so that I don't wind up being a fucking part of some future email or fucking listing on Gumtree where he's like, I've been <laughs> constructing a human suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With a walrus head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um, let's take bets or just votes. Does it end well? <laughs> <laughs> I just I like I'm trying to put myself in the position where Who are you? Are you the lodger or the <laughs> I mean it'd or, probably be easier to associate <laughs> with them. How we're gonna interact with each other is when you put on a fucking walrus suit for me. <clears throat> Do you think fish. you wouldn't talk to the person otherwise? Like as soon as you take the, you're like, hey, you, you won't go for, won't to go. He's like, no. I think you'd want to keep the illusion up, right? Like I think. I don't know. I don't I think want you'd want to. I mean, you, gotta you can't talk. start thinking about like the person, the uh, the wall, your walrus as, as a, a person. <laughs> well, Scott. that sounds terrible. It does. It's, I mean, that's why I'm saying, like, I, like, I believe me. I'm sure this guy is a heads up dude and sweet and nice, and he's got this little thing he likes and blah blah blah. But. It it has all the, you know, sounds like many movies <clears throat> I've seen starring Morgan Freeman and yeah, the, one yeah. of the Judd girls. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss of the walrus girl. Yeah, where Kiss it just begins walrus. with like, I for those, if in order for me to buy you as a walrus, I can't ever fucking see you as a human being. And that's like when you hear serial killers talk or when they try to like address yeah, them yeah. on the news, they're always trying to push the humanity of the person that they're have hostage or something like that. Yeah, so they can treat them like a human being. So that they can't just be like, this motherfucker's meat and this is what I do to meat. It's kind of like 
if you're the guy who's like, I got to believe wholeheartedly you're a walrus and as convincing as this fucking costume is, it's never going to be close to the real fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so he knows in advance that he needs you to be like, you can't just shh, don't speak. Like you can't don't, say don't anything talk. except, <laughs> please, I only wanted a room. <laughs> I lost my job. Oh, fucking dude, this is genius. Number one, <coughs> anyone listening to this? Copyright Kevin Scott, because this is a fucking horror movie, dude. The Walrus and the Carpenter. <laughs> and it's about yes. a dude who fucking like his whole life, he was an architect. He's made a lot of money building houses for people who like his philosophy is I've spent a lifetime making people happy. And right, now it's, it's time for me. Yes. And what I want is very simple. And he creates this fucking like subterranean dungeon that looks like a fucking walrus <laughs> enclave <laughs> and fucking it's kind of like you know he goes down centipede, there and he like t- hits like a, a button w- and then there's like lights come on and then you hear like seagulls and stuff and- <laughs> 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 looking around and shit <laughs> I'm just going to flat out say it. Just in case you made that movie (laughs) and felt good about yourself. I'm just saying in terms of like wanting to watch a British like quasi British horror movie set in an old house or whatever the fuck. I, like I would much prefer to. This seems like a cuddlier version of Human Centipede where you've got somebody who's just like. I'm holding you captive and doing something fucked up with you. Instead of sewing your mouth to someone's asshole, yeah. he just sews you into this fucking... Oh, he sews you in. You got to make it for the kids. You got to make it creepy and <laughs> for the <gory>. kids. <laughs> yeah. it can't be this study in humanity. It's got to be, you know, there's got to be some cruelty to it. So he fucking sews him into the fucking suit. And he's so good to him, dude. Except when he talks. If he's ever like, please, then he fucking hits him he so hits hard. Him. And he's just like, Gregory, no! <laughs> well, he probably tries to be calm at first. He's like, walruses do not speak. <laughs> first, he's kind about it. Shit. But then he's obviously, he's got some issues. <laughs> so he could trip fast. Now, we're not going to make a mistake like other horror movies where they fucking... You know, like, uh, meanwhile, outside in the world, like, I've, I can't, he's supposed to be, meet me at the chip shop and he Where's wasn't there. Wallace? Bullshit. The whole fucking movie, A, to keep it low budget and B, because nobody cares about the outside world. <laughs> We're just, it's all that, man. Yeah, yeah. It's just not, and so it there's might, nobody coming out going like, might even be real time. Like, maybe we experience all this shit in fucking real time from a certain point on. Like, first, 10 minutes give you the fucking backstory a little bit or something like that or show fucking uh the the carpenter you know fucking uh putting the ad in the in the in gum tree and shit like that but the bulk of the movie once you know the dude's you're just in like, the house and you don't leave yeah like he fucking he's sitting there and, and he's talking to the dude at his place and then all of a sudden he's just like getting you know you do the camera thing where you look woozy and shit and he's just like i feel faint and then the old man's just like uh It'll be all right, Gregory. Yeah. Oh, fucking nice, nice, nice. He's like Gregory. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then <laughs> I mean, oh, Gregory, what? And he's out. <laughs> <laughs> then when you come to, you're fucking. You do. You know. You reveal the horror. You do POV, and not this fucking POV shit. No, your eye. What you do is you play it from his, your eyes open. The camera is his POV, and he's like struggling. And he then he gets to a mirror, and he's like, <gasps> uh, "Not even. <laughs> Why wait? Like first, he's just like it's his POV, and he's like looking straight up. First, he comes through in a in a thea- um, operating theater. Like he wakes up, oh, and he's, he's like, like, "What?" Because he's being sewn into the suit. And it's a mini operating theater. It's just fucking <laughs> yeah, carpenter. Let's not be crazy. Yeah, I want to keep the budget down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bathroom. It's an ironing board. <laughs> uh, two ironing boards because the walrus costume yeah, is yeah, ridiculously huge. So uh he comes to and then he's just like, what? Did, what? Uh, what? <laughs> and then, you know, he puts some fucking whatever over his mouth. Some, uh, oh, so there's like. Put him out again. Yeah, so he yeah. Come, like in Robocop, remember Robocop like came online at one point. Yeah, and they're and like. he's just like, you're the shit. And then he went offline again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he came back online. Same kind of thing. So this dude goes out and when he comes back in, it's still his POV. But he fucking like, he, he's like, uh, uh, cause surgery hurts and shit. I've heard. I've never mm-hmm. had it. Yeah. So he feels the pain of something and something. Ah! And then he fucking moves his hand and all he sees is this flipper, dude. 
because they have flippers, right? Little yeah. flippers. Did he so, sew his fingers together? Yeah, like the fucking penguin in uh, Batman Returns. Yeah. So he's like, ah, ah, and then we fucking pull back on the bed shot, man. It's like Johnny got his gun with the dude with the cone on his face, the fucking dude who can't move. He got no legs and arm. He's just like, I can't communicate and fucking yeah. the horror of being trapped within this fucking thing. And you pull back on his fucking scream and he's there. He is like on this, uh, where would you put him? <clears throat> Not in the <clears throat> walrus enclave yet. <laughs> You want to reveal that separately. You don't want to like it. This will well, be then you want the guy to, enough. Then you like, want the guy to reveal it to him and like he's giving no, him something awesome. No, no, but he's let him. I don't think we want to do the mirror again because you can't move in the costume. Like in order for it to be a really scary movie, like you, you can't be able to walk he around. He almost like sews his, if he sewed his, his legs together. No, he's, he sews the human, his legs all right, here together. it is. The he human sew, walrus. Right, they sew his it. legs together. They sew his, his like biceps to his sides. Oh, that's grotesque. And then he sews the fingers together. So it looked like this. So the, so the way Scott's doing like this, he's doing a kind of, uh, short arm T-Rex Jesus, I'd call it. He's got his elbows in at his sides. So if he was on a cross, it'd be a very little cross, <laughs> <laughs> but his, his, uh, elbows fused to like his uh, rib cage or yeah. his sides, his lats. And his arms sticking out, and with his fingers sewn together, he's essentially got very long flippers and shit. So it's not so much that you're sewn into a suit, or he does. He also sews like this walrus hide onto you and shit. But he changes your body. He's fusing parts of your body, yeah. sewing them together and shit like that. So let's find that before, like, because you can't get him to a mirror or something like that. So let's have him wake up. And then he's fucking screaming, reveal to the audience what he looks like, the horror of what he looks like. Or you do it in the dark. The room's dark. So the POV, when he comes, it's bright, bright light, you know, and he's like, yeah. ah, and the guy puts him under again. When he comes, it's only scant light coming from like a door, open little doorway or something like that. So he can kind of make out like he's, he's more in the dark, but just enough to like when he fucking sees the flipper hand. He's freaked out. Ah, yeah. ah, and then fucking the lights go on and the architect, uh, the carpenter is, uh, like in the doorway and he's got his finger on the light switch and he's just going, he's, he's mostly looking at him with eyes full of hope and wonder. And then a big smile, like kind of comes across his face. And then he starts that creepy lady from the shining tub laughing where he's just like, ah, ha, 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 ah, ha, ha. but not evil, but just like this guy's having a good joyful. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and so then, and then we've, you know, you fucking whip the camera around in the room. Shit, dude tries to f come off the bed, but lands like a fucking flop it around. Yeah, yeah, like a horrifying walrus. Horrifying shit. And then the dude's like, ah, and he comes over and fucking kicks him in the face. So the dude goes out. Then when he comes to again, he's in the walrus. He hears the plate. seagull. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the walrus and the carpenter. And it's like a fucking more tolerable, but more fucked up version of human centipede. Like nobody wants to see movies, except for me. <laughs> Nobody wants to see movies with people having their mouths sewed to an ass of somebody. I'm all for that. That's my kind of fucking picture and shit. That's a horror movie to me. But at the same time, I go like, I can live through that. It's kind yeah. of a horror movie I want to see. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a fucking winner, man. Who wouldn't see it? That would make, you make that movie for like a Jason Blum house budget, or Blum, Jason Blum, Blum house, whatever it's Blum money. Is. You do a, you do one of these Blum pictures. <laughs> you Blum, you're Blum good, man. <laughs> You go plum plum. <laughs> <laughs> he makes these flicks for fucking next to nothing. Yeah. Three, everyone keeps talking about that fucking, the purge is three million. Can you imagine it shit? And it made 60. Yeah. I got to imagine we spent three million on this. You easily make 30 million bucks. People are like, especially, and we haven't even talked about cast. Like who would play who? I, I'm, I'm going with John Cusack as the lodger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because people are like, oh shit, Lloyd, Lloyd, all null and void. And he's, he's been in horror movies at work. Yeah. He was in one for Bob, the, uh, you know, 1408 or whatever it was called. The, so who would be the lodger? You know who would be into something like this? James Franco. He's so fucking 
out there with the choices he makes. You fucking work yeah, with him. Yeah, James shit. Franco as the walrus? or he, the, as, as the guy who gets sewn into the suit because he would see that as a challenge. I'm like, oh, my God, if you think fucking soap operas are a challenge, try playing a human walrus. <laughs> this is your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I demean him into doing of, yeah. it. <laughs> what are you, dumb? <laughs> the fuck? How come you're not already doing this, you fucking... I bet you we could kickstart that and make a bunch of money. <laughs> People would be like, that is fucked up. Totally. So his, here's the third act. He catches you trying to escape. He yeah. gives you a fucking beating. He calls it something. Uh, it's, uh, what is uh, the, the walrus oh. must be taught. And then fucking... Yeah. He's teaching me a lesson. And it beats you down. So oh, you're always going out. It's a series of fucking fade <laughs> ups and fade downs. Awesome. But um he uh he fucking he, or he fucking you know, he's got cameras on you and shit like that. And you've been working at this little hole in the in the wall, like Shawshank and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And he fucking sees you and so we're bringing in a little bit of first Iron Man. He in this moment the the carp the carpenter who could very well be played by um what's his name the same actor who was in uh Jeff Bridges could be Jeff Bridges uh huh um but like Jeff Bridges in Iron Man he then goes and puts on his suit and he oh, has a large yes yes motherfucker now his obviously he can't sew himself his fingers shut yeah yeah him, but he puts it on it's still fucking like fucked up looking and it's you know, made of human skins. And so you realize he's done this before. Like, I'm not the first lodger and shit like that. Gotcha. There have been many Gregories. And that makes me feel bad. Well, I don't it, feel special. Yeah. Or yeah. No. At first, you're just like, what the fuck? I thought I was. <laughs> yeah. <Gregory."> <laughs> <laughs> no, like things become clear. You're suddenly like, oh, that's why it was like 13. It said 13 or something like that. You're the 13th one. So his walrus suits made of human skin. And thus it communicates that your ultimate ending is will to, be to, to become be part the, of his yeah, walrus. Yeah, there's like a patch missing. So he's in it, you're in yours, and you guys have to have one of the walrus fights <laughs> like on the beach. <laughs> Where you slam each other. Like, arr, arr. <laughs> and he's like, do it for real! Because you won't, like, you're like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> but you become so feral in the fight, Scott. You don't try to mimic the walrus noises, but your fight is so desperate that you're like, arr! And you start, like, we start saying, is man indeed a walrus at heart? <laughs> you ultimately kill him with your tusks. Like, his was part of the suit. He didn't commit. So you, I beat him. You do. You have to win, right? This is how you get Because I commit. Because you go, you finally. But then I, but then, but then. You what? finally go feral. That's the thing. All this time you've been struggling. I finally become the walrus. Yes. Yes, Scott. <laughs> I am the walrus. Yeah. And after you kill him, you're like, cuckoo, could you? <laughs> <laughs> the whole movie is struggling to hold on to your humanity, but it's only in, in letting go of your humanity and going fucking feral. And since he implanted, you know, real tusks into you or tusks into your real jawline yeah, yeah. and shit, you use them. You fucking gut them in the throat and like like the walruses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight, you get them and fuck. Ah, but then, the, but then, what has to happen at the end is that once he makes that switch, yeah, he can't go back. Once you once he becomes the walrus, he's in the suit. No, but that would be stupid and unreal. <laughs> <laughs> he puts on the suit with every intention no. of I will fight him. This is how he kills everybody who plays. No, Gregory. but the lo but the guy who was captured, the lodger, the lodger. Yes. Once he goes crazy and feral and wins, he can't get out of the go suit. back to be in a human, human form. Yes. But so, he also even mentally is like, he's crossed. And that's our last shot, dude. So he's what happens is divide. after he fucking in our black and white Quentin fucking, ah, where he rips the dude's fucking yeah, yeah. throat and shit out and kills him. You know, he's just like, ah, ah whatever the noise is on the internet. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we, you know, fade out and shit like that or, or dissolve to, like the f fucking Havencroft clinic for the criminally insane or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And you see, you know, like his buddy in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> I walk in with a bucket of <laughs> Yes, bitch. First, it's his buddy going to visit him who we saw in the beginning who he was just like, you know, it was Nick or fucking Teddy. Teddy. One of those cats. He wound up as a woman, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he closes us out. 
<laughs> just in case people found, you know, for, didn't know the message. He never returned to his former zip, <laughs> didn't he? The one of those cats comes to see you and shit, and, you know, the doctors are like, he's... He's got something wrapped in a newspaper, and you don't know what's going on, and then he opens it. Yes. <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <was> awesome. <laughs> so you go into the room, and they fucking, you're in an ante room, and they're like, doof, 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 and doors open close, and then the final doors doof, open, and it is like, it's like another walrus enclave, a better version yeah, yeah. of where he was. Because he realized they can't reverse the process. No, they can't. He's fu- He's gone. Even in his head, he's gone full walrus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the dude, Teddy, looks at him fucking sadly. And th- he's just screeching, dude, down below. Yeah. He's a feral. Yeah, like how when they challenge, when you see a walrus yeah. challenge, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just bellowing at him and shit. Teddy's just looking down at him like. <laughs> it's just Manchester's fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he throws him the fish, and then fucking uh, the walrus man, yeah. like fucking, uh, like fucking <laughs> scurries over to it all gross and shit, and starts biting at it at the ground. They play like some sad piano music, roll credits as we pull back in this overhead, watching <laughs> fucking eating this fish off the ground. <laughs> And there's a song that's just like, being tender in your heart. <laughs> Is that a real song? <laughs> no. <laughs> but those fucking horror movies, they would end with like a really mellow song that was like, what does this have to do with eating fucking human brains? <laughs> um, Oh, my God. There it is. We just pitched an amazing fucking movie. Yeah. I'd watch that fucking.